back to Gluten Free Plant Taste and if you're new, welcome. Can I just take this opportunity to thank everyone who's subscribed since my last video. I do really appreciate your subscription and I just want to apologise for not um, uploading in the last few weeks. It's been super busy with work and just with life that I have filmed videos, I just haven't had time to edit them and upload them but now I have a few days off work I thought let me just get on here and edit and then upload these videos and hopefully I'll have enough content to upload until my next break from work but in this video I'm going to share with you my Jamaican stew peas and rice um people make this is not a new recipe people make this how they like and this is just how I personally make um stew peas and rice so if you want to see how I make it Keep watching. To get started you will need to cut up all of the vegetables that you'd like to add to your stew peas. Here I'm using green bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, chili, um, white onion, green onion, garlic, carrot and tomatoes. I am not using oil in this recipe so I'm just going to add some water to my pot and I'm going to then add my vegetables and leave them to cook or fry off or sweat off for a few minutes and while that is being done I will move on to um, preparing the rice to go with this dish. Okay, so back to our vegetables and now I'm just going to season with some oregano and thyme and also some cayenne pepper and I'm just going to cover it again and allow the flavours to blend together. Stew peas would not be stew peas without spinners, better known as dumplings. Um, and for this dumpling mix I am using buckwheat flour, sea salt to taste and I will add water gradually until I have a dough. Um, the beauty of this is that if you have a gluten intolerance you can still enjoy the dumplings. Um, and what I'm doing here is gradually just pinching a bit of the dough and rolling it between my hands and that's how we make dumplings um, and I'll keep these to the side until I need them later on to add to the stew. Now I am adding my kidney beans and these kidney beans I allow them to soak overnight and then boil them. I feel like when you use boiled kidney beans you get a richer more vibrant color to your stew in comparison to using canned kidney beans but if you're not fussed about the colour, you can use canned chi can kidney beans. And now I'm also going to add some coconut milk. Here I actually forgot to add some more of my seasoning. So in the next clip you'll see me adding these seasonings that I should have added at this point. Time to add the seasonings that I forgot earlier on um, and that's just bay leaf, ginger, pimento and sea salt. I'm now also adding the buckwheat dumplings that I made and you want to make sure that your dumplings cook evenly so I'm just mixing the stew here and you want to make sure that there's enough for liquid inside of the pot so that the dumplings will cook thoroughly and the beautiful thing about buckwheat is that the dumplings don't actually take a long time to cook so at this point the stew is almost ready but you can see that the mixture is still quite loose or liquidy so I'm just going to 
mash some of the kidney beans so this is one of the options you can do you can explore you can mash some of your kidney beans using the back of your spoon or if you are in a rush and you don't have a lot of time to allow it to reduce after you've mashed your kidney beans what you can do is use a thickener of your choice um, to thicken the stew here I have some buckwheat with a little bit of water mixed together and you can use buckwheat and water you can use cornstarch or whatever thickener you have at home so here it is um, our stew peas and rice and it's time to give this a taste test Some of the dumpling as well. Just getting some dumpling. <laughs> the buckwheat dumpling. Mm. Yes. It's delicious. It's packed with flavours. Um, it reminds me of home. Uh, if you've never had stew peas before, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you give this recipe a try. Um you give this recipe a try i'm sure you will like it um if you have survived this long or you've so you've you've gotten this far i think you should just it's only right that you hit the subscribe button and um, do subscribe if you enjoy this video and hit the like button also um and i will see you in my next video bye